Filming the Amazon has presented numerous challenges. Every time you think you've got everything under control, some curveball comes in. But those sort of challenges make filmmaking possible. They make us make creative decisions. Managed to film this dead leaf mimic butterfly. Well, the trick is trying to show it disappearing into its environment. But at exactly at the right moment, we needed to move. <laughs> We didn't call for rain, but we got it. And after all, we are in the rainforest, so we shouldn't be too shocked. And the next shot, we don't want rain in it. There is a shot which we do want rain in, so we're just going to have to judge it. And everybody's prepared for it, but it still puts a bit of a hiccup in the day's planning. We're just checking the power. We've had a lot of issues with uh, power surges frying our equipment. So we just want to make sure that before we plug anything in, everything is perfect. We're about 500 meters from the main generator. So what we've had to do is run a cable through the rainforest to get us here, where we have secondary generators that are powering the lighting, and the camera tent, and powering the coffee machine, the three most important things on a film set. When you have a three-way co-production where it's the UK, it's Brazil, and it's Canada, there are such vast cultural differences certainly full of challenges in terms of how people work, how they communicate, but it's certainly been well worth it. We have a member of our department who is from Manaus and she has really good English, so she's helping us learn Portuguese and, and translate to translate. A gente pensou em fazer esse projeto, a gente não tinha exatamente o desenho do barco definido, então a gente pesquisou um pouco é, em diversas fontes antigas, desenhos antigos, e chegou num desenho comum e de uma vela que ainda, que ainda funciona no Brasil. What do we do to make the makeup stay in the rainforest? I point a gun at them and I say, if you sweat, I'll kill you. <laughs> She's not lying, she does. <laughs> My anti-image, anti-mosquito vibe. According to the local jungle dude, he was saying bright colors and crazy pants, they hate it. Dark colors, they love. That and also, it's hot out here, man. It's incredibly humid at the moment. We're in a pressure cooker. <laughs> that's what it is. We have shade, so that's good. We have lots of water, but it's much too hot. I just want to go swimming. But that's what the dolphins have to do. Today is an easy day because it's soft over here, but normally we have big lights that we bring in and we try and lift our area of shade up to meet our area of sun. It means a lot of guys hump in big lights, but I don't have to do that. I just have to ask for it, which is kind of lucky. Estamos no segundo set do dia. O primeiro set foi mais complicado. A gente subiu com a câmera, com o equipamento todo na torre. We can go down the slippery, slidey bank, and they're all looking at me with their game faces on, going, yes, we can do that. But most of the time, it's a physical challenge because the dimensions of the, of the camera are quite enormous. It's kind of amazing how much gear and how much thought and how much expertise has to go into getting incredibly simple-looking things. And yet, here we are with all of this. <laughs> In the Amazon. Sweating. In the Amazon, yeah, sweating, yeah. yeah. 